WindyCityUnderground.com, your music, your station. You guys are tuned in to the newest talk show on Windy City Underground, and that is Out Light Radio. And yes, I named it right after myself because that is my last name. You guys are listening to Brandon Maurice W., and I am here with my wonderful friend, Mr. Mark Cage, all the way from the West Coast. He's going to be helping me out today. But you guys, I have a wonderful show for you guys. I have a special phone interview with Aaliyah Stewart of I Am Them Campaign. You guys, she do not want to miss this show. I also have some great headliners and everything like that for you. So you guys stay tuned in right here on WhatIsTheUnderground.com. But right next, we're going to get into Rico. Hey y'all. I know I'm just getting started, so y'all stick with me. Hey. Oh, I just this is actually my first show. Um it's a talk radio show. Oh, very nice. Good well, we got a visitor, y'all. That's what y'all looking at. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, so y'all stay tuned. We'll be out right in a minute. We're going to talk about rap. Uh, Rob and China, they just got their uh, release of their new um, reality show. Sex show? So that's what we're going to do. No. Uh, 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 but we're going to uh, talk about that. we also going to talk about a bunch of other stuff. Like I got um, this new movie um, called Moonlight. Oh, that's going to be so good. I can't wait. Finally, a movie about the DEL trade. Like, okay. And also, I'm going to talk about, y'all know Kevin Hart got married, but I'm not going to tease the show to y'all because... Y'all are supposed to be listening. Stay in tune. Stay in tune. Can you see Mark? Okay, there we go. Y'all, that's Cage, y'all, from the Power Playlist. Yeah, it's Cage from Brooklyn. We, we work together. Yeah, from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Playing this one song? Uh, yeah, probably after this one. Come back. Hey, y'all, stay in. I'm trying not to be on. Trying to stay cool, cool. Just wait in the vibe, man. Yeah. Hey Jeff. Jeff Washington. Jeff who? Trailer. Yeah. Trails, what's up, man? Hey Kendrick. Prophet. K Stone. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Okay. Love you, love you. Okay. Yeah, you gotta come come up to times. Come up to times. I know, right? Alright, hey, so Trails. we're gonna zoom in to Rob and China real quick. That's gonna be the first one. This is Rico, y'all. You know, I'm going to play another joint. Play irrelevant before I come back in. Because I don't want to mess up the whole clock. He said he just woke up. Okay, come on. You can come in for Statistically Speaking. That's a new segment. You're going to have to come on in. But hey, everybody. Join us. Thanks for tuning in. We're coming in right after this song. This song is called Irrelevant. She's put the artist on there. I can't never say the artist names. I know. Without it being there. Well, we got a special interview with Aaliyah Stewart of I Am Them coming up next. Y'all do not want to miss that. I'm going to get the inside scoop on her campaign, about her life, everything. So, I'm so ready, y'all. I'm so ready, y'all. Just stay tuned with me. It's about to be nice. It's about to be a good show. But this is irrelevant. I just can't think of anything. I ain't got nobody's name on that, so I can't say the artist's name. Say relevant, clean. So, it's made by clean. Oh, I need to And he playing it. his uh, West Coast vibe. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all feel free to comment, like feel free to say whatever y'all want to say. I'll definitely read them off, like I said. Um just go ahead, feel free to comment, do whatever you want to do to get interactive with the show. I don't mind, I need it. I need something to play off of, something to fill off of. So y'all go ahead and do that for me. I love it, y'all. But thank y'all for tuning in now. Hey other viewers, y'all coming in. I think y'all really gonna like statistically speaking. That's a really funny one. It's gonna be a bunch of statistics and things that I feel like y'all probably never thought about in y'all life. But we're gonna be talking about that and other stuff too. So I hope you can y'all hear me okay. Just let me know if there's any problems or anything like that too. I know I'm rambling for the most part, but I'm trying to keep her entertained throughout the the viewers at the most part after these uh the music and things like that. I know y'all can hear, but just let me know if anything.
This is a nice drink though. Can y'all hear it real quick? Just in case if y'all didn't see the promo, Senora, let y'all went through the... Oh, I made that myself. Well, hold on now. Y'all can't look at the... <laughs> okay, but... This is us. Alice could make it, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, this is the promo I made earlier, so... Y'all, we gonna have a good show for y'all, huh? Action packed show. Can't wait, y'all. We're going to some tea. Got about a minute before we go back on air so y'all can get into the conversation. Something like that. So we're going to talk about Robin Black China, their new show, Robin China. We got our trailer yesterday. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're coming in again. But I like WinnieCityUnderground.com, your music, your station. You guys are tuned in to the news talk show on Winnie City Underground, and that is Outright Radio. Hey, everybody coming in. And my name is Brandon Maurice W., and you guys, we're ready for Outright Talk, okay? Outright Talk is nothing but hot topics and things like that, and we're going to get right into them. So, I don't know if you guys knew, but E.T. just uh, launched a new, not sitcom, a reality show for um, Robin China. Rob Kardashian, Black China. They have an air six episode reality show. And um, y'all look a little heated. It look a little feisty. You know, Black China is not a very, um, she's not a very silent person, I should say. She does a lot of things. And she does it really swiftly, I might say. She's one of those girls who kind of like, you know, she has her way. She do her thing. And she do it the way she do it. And I'm also checking out the trailer and things. And, um, you know, it's, like I said, it seemed hectic. She, um kind of was yelling, they was arguing, she kicked him out the house a couple times, and you see them like kissing the baby belly and stuff like that, so you know, you never know what's going to happen, but I did want to highlight this one thing in the trailer, she did, she was in the car, doing the, you know, the regular black girl thing, and she said, um, you know how they get on the phone, they're like, oh, well, I heard you was doing this, you know, the, the accusation thing, you right, know what I'm right. saying, I, you know, I love my sisters, but y'all know y'all do that, oh. but anyway. She asked him in a very, you know, forceful and yelling way. She said, are you still texting other bees, yes or no, before she slams the door and, you know, do all that in the car. So, what y'all think about Robin China? Y'all going to check it out, viewers, listeners, because, you know what, I think I'm going to check it out because I need me a little drama in my life since, well, you know what, I'm going to get in theft threats. So, I don't need any drama in my life right now. That's for my friends. That's the secret, you know, the inside joke. No more theft threats. But anyway, yeah, so y'all check that out. That's going to be really good. So next up we have, y'all know what, I'm really, really happy and I'm so excited that did you hear Kevin Hart got married on Saturday? No, I didn't know. Yeah, he got married. I can't pronounce his girlfriend's name. I think it's Aniko, Aniko no, yeah, Aniko Parrish. They got uh, married after, because he, um, he proposed to her in 2014 in August. And he got married, finally tied the knot. I'm happy for him. And I actually got a picture of him, and he said, what doesn't, what isn't, no, I'm sorry, what doesn't need to be explained doesn't need to be said. And it was so beautiful. It was a nice one. And her dress was amazing. It was a mermaid style with a nice, like, lace top up the front. It was really beautiful. So I want to say shout out to Kevin Hart for making that move. It's about time that our black people get married. Okay? There's nothing wrong with that black folk. Let's get married out here. <laughs> okay? And second, I want to talk about this movie, this up-and-coming LGBT, black LGBT movie called Moonlight. It's making a lot of buzz. And it's literally um, a really good all-star cast. And it's also Janelle Monae's first um, uh, film debut. Oh, the yeah. singer, yeah. She's going to be in it. And um, it's a movie. Well, the, I'm going to read the trailer off to you guys. It says, Moonlight is a tender, heartbreaking story of a young man's struggle to find himself, told across three defining chapters of his life. Experience of ecstasy, pain, and beauty of falling in love while grappling of his own sexuality. Because the man is trying to find his way through, and he's trying to find um, basically his sexuality. And you see that he kind of 
at the beginning of the trailer, he kind of falls back to seeing someone that he saw when he was a younger kid, and, which was a guy. Right. And the guy's like, you know, what are you doing here? Why are you here? And it's like, you're going to find out why he came back to that guy. You know, y'all know how I am. I can't stay away from a little DL relationship for some reason, but this is going so to. So, is it, what, did they film that in Chicago? Is it the Chicago? Chicago no, I'm, or I'm, is it no, worldwide? no, no. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. Oh, yeah. They have several spots. But you know what? Like I said, I think I'm going to watch this because, you know, this is, de- this is like my life. This is damn near my life right now. Like, when I deal with my men, y'all know, I, I can't describe it. I don't know why they want to talk to me on the low, but it's, it is what it is, and I'm just going to keep it moving to that. But like I said, Janelle Manet is going to be in it. It's a, all new, uh, a whole newcomer. His name is Trevante Rose. He's going to be the actor on there. So I'm super excited for that, and I can't wait for that to be, you know, headlining because I want to go see the movie, and I want to go actually to a premiere. So, so they premiere it in the theaters? Like- yeah. It's going to be legit in theaters next year. Okay. So, we're getting right into mo- uh, Motivated Clean. But right up next, we got Statistically Speaking. So, you guys stay tuned on WittyCityUnderground.com. Your music, your station. I don't know the name of this artist either. But, let me sign into my Snap and my Instagram to see if they... Um, They telling y'all guys liking the show, tune in here, let me know. Ooh, I see a like. Thank you. Y'all stay tuned in, say something. You know what I'm saying? I just named off a bunch of stuff. I'm going to have some more topics and things, but we see a bunch of, I see some like, I get some notifications. Hey, Carl. I ain't seen you in forever. I'm going to like that. I just don't want to move my camera for it. Okay, Raw. Hey, Raw. What's up? Raw, oh, shout out to up? Raw, uh, Real Raw Radio. Yeah, you coming on too. Every Tuesdays. Okay. Let me go on here and get my little snap. I got a snap on my... Uh, oh. Uh, Ari! I love you, girl. Ari Star? Yes, Ari Star. Shout out to IMS. Y'all really have to represent I hope you guys are tuning in. I'm enjoying myself. I'm in here with Mark Cage, you know, West Coast. Ooh, I love West Coast, man. It's Cage from Brooklyn. 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 <laughs> New York. With y'all. Stay tuned in. I'm on a break right now, but we're coming back with statisti- statistically speaking. Love you too, boo. But we're coming in with statistically speaking. And that's basically a bunch of uh, statistics. And we're going to see what y'all think about these statistics because they're kind of wacky. So I love, you know, I live for a little love horoscope and things like that. So we're going to get into all of that next, okay? So y'all, hold on. We got two songs. So yeah, we're going to get right into statistically speaking. And after that, I got my exclusive phone interview. With Aaliyah Stewart, so y'all stay tuned for that because that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of life. I don't know if you guys know, especially in Chicago, it's a big um, it's a big organization. So y'all stay tuned, okay? Oh, I can't. I ain't got no Wi-Fi in here. Yeah, Brandon. Why do you, why are you bringing people in here? Because <laughs> uh, I'm important. I'm tired of you. Because now I feel like you gonna have to jump into this. Wait, I, 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 with statistically I speaking. No, you got to say something with statistically speaking. I'm just, hey, Brad. I'm just hiding out for a moment. Just hiding out. Who you hiding from? There's somewhat a little party over here at all times. You see, they just kind of come in. You showing Brandon Maurice W. BMW some love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, Brad. That's my bestie, y'all. Shout out to my best friend. Oh, let me get a couple things you out. I want to thank my best friends, Brittany, you know, Tiana, Taylor. Taylor Carter, everybody, Wayman, Xavier, a bunch of people. Y'all, I don't know who y'all best friends are. LeRon, Charles, everybody. Oh, that's Aaliyah. Hey, Aaliyah, you, be- you ready for your interview, girl? She coming. <laughs> that's her? Yeah, she watching. You got about what, like, about 15 minutes? That's her? Yeah, so I'm about to get in your life, girl. But I can't wait, though, y'all. Tay Tay. Dang, I love y'all. Thank you. Mm, okay. Oh, shout out to Alex and my mama, I guess. <laughs> nah, Nita Blanche, you know I love you, girl. Yeah, they can comment and things like that. Y'all, y'all know Marquis, if y'all can't tell, he a little, he a little seasoned. He ain't old, but he's seasoned. So he don't know that much about Facebook Live and stuff like that. But, <laughs> well, I know y'all talked about that on the playlist, about him being real old boots. Yeah. Old boots. 
But don't don't he look like he could be a rapper's father? I always said that. Like a son, like a father of a rapper, or he like an old school rapper who got a new like son that's a rapper. He look like it, don't he? Got jokes. <laughs> or like Ice Cube. Right. He looking at like he ain't never seen a child. Nah, nah, I seen him before. I seen him before. Nah. But no problem, bestie. I'm okay, Lily. I love you, mommy. I love you, Alex. Anyway. All my cousins, y'all have too many of y'all names. Tabitha Davis, Isaiah Beatty, Smitty, Alyssa, all y'all. BJ, Max, Miranda, too many. Like I said, Max, me, or whatever. Love y'all too. Aunties, uncles, I'm gonna just say it like that. But right after the party, we're gonna go right back into our show. We're gonna talk statistically speaking, y'all. As soon as party clean is over. She ain't really just put the names off here. I'm like saying clean, clean, clean. Because I ain't got none of their names on there. Like I said, please comment. Y'all can, especially on statistical, uh, statistically speaking. I need to learn how to talk. But statistically speaking, y'all can comment. Please let me know what y'all think. Because some of these, first of all, they going to hit my heart. They're going to hit yours too. So definitely let me know what y'all think. I already know these boys ain't going to hold back either. Because some of these are about men. And you know how I feel about me and when they be doing wrong and stuff. I mean, got all that right in here for statistically speaking. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to dance a little bit. Mm-hmm. Tabitha, you tell the girl. <laughs> hey, cousin. Hey, cousin. You know, you know, you know, I hang with all the girls. Not by choice, but shit, though. <laughs> but now you know, that's my home. My sister, cousin, best friend, whatever. Thank you, girl. Hey, Kenyatta. It's been you forever, girl. Congratulations. That's a long time. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it like the last of the things. I don't think it's in there. I approved that song, but I didn't. Uh, she's putting the names in everything. I got a bunch of. Uh, oh, yeah. Let me uh, actually talk about next week's show because I'm trying to get a guest for every show. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to get a show for, uh, guest for, everybody, uh, for every show. And your son Tell is going to be here next week with The Prophet. So, y'all, I'm going to have a big show next week. Big show next year. I'm going to have two rappers, two interviews. I'm going to have them try to do some of the same questions. But you know I got a game for me. You know I got to ask them some questions, some real tea. So, y'all stay tuned. I'm going to tease that too at the end so y'all don't forget. But Yo Santella going to be in here and The Prophet. So. And he got a video. I got to share a link on my video. His video is dope. Video is dope. So, And I'm going to have Yo Santella. Y'all should know him. He was on Bad Girls Club. And he also been doing music around Chicagoland for a while. So, And that dude know how to party, okay? He had every party. Every club, somehow, Snapchat be booming. So, I'm going to have them next week. Okay? So, and I'm working on a lot of 219 people. And if y'all want to be on the show, anybody, if y'all want to be on the show, let me know. Because I'll be more than happy to have y'all on the show. Okay? More than happy, more than delighted. So, what's your so, show going to consist of? It's just going to be talk. You know how Ella DeGeneres do something? I don't know. But, no, I just want to have a talk show. I wanted to have some music. And I also, you know, just want to chill and get to know people and talk to people around 219 and 773 to... What is this, a 331? All that type of stuff. So, everybody just hit me up. If y'all want to interview, if y'all want to do a segment, anything like that, let me know. Especially the 219, because I really feel like, you know, we have our station, but our station is not that, well, I don't think it's, not that it's not open to us, but it's a lot, you know, into getting into that and um, not really doing much. So, and I want to highlight as much 219 as we can, because that's my home. So, y'all let me know, okay? Anytime. Y'all let me like your comment. So we're going back on the 20. You ready? But statistically speaking. Statistically speaking. Wendy City Underground.com, your music, your station. It's your boy Brandon Maurice W with the Outright Radio Show. So y'all, like I said, I was going to get into this new segment called Statistically Speaking. And it's literally about just a bunch of statistics that I found online that um, people say that are true. And we're also just going to have a little discussion about them. So I hope you're ready, Cage. And I know... Vince Sanity is back on his computer, but he's going to say something. You're going to get up and say something. I just know you, so that's what's going to happen. Okay, so this is for the ladies. This is for you guys. Statistically speaking, half of women feel like they were too young the first time they had sex. So, (laughs) 
you like I'm saying that the mark. I mean, over here just strolling, he's just strolling in his book. So not saying, you know, okay, first of all I'm not a female, but I do think that I was a little too yeah, whatever. But anyway, I do think that I was too young first off starting out. You know what I'm saying? Like you kinda I think you're in a rush to get older sometimes and everybody, especially in high school, and there was a lot of things about that area, you know, sexual things where, you know, I didn't even know about it in high school, but once I found out about it, it's kind of like that consumed your life a little bit. So, um, I can say that that's somewhat agreeable, but um, do you do you feel like half of women started too early? I mean, especially with the pregnancy rate. Let me say that too. Well, well of course, I'm a guy, so uh, did you? I feel it's, not, it's okay. Now, let me stop. Uh, it's too early. I mean, man, that's a good one. Oh, wow. I mean, they said half of women feel that way, so I mean, you know, it. It's something that's like, you know, hey, 17 is all right. If you're, if, if you're a responsible person, then it's obviously you're ready. But then if you're irresponsible, then you're not ready. So, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, it's okay. I mean, I think, I, think it's, I think it's somewhat true, but I think, you know, it's, it's up to the person as well. It's up to the woman as well. But I'm going to get this one, this next one, Vincenity about to get up. You're about to get up for this one. Okay, so statistically speaking... Men on the average sleep around nearly three times as much as women. No. Women Get up. Sleep. <laughs> women now, first of all, like I men. said, like I said, I already, y'all already know. I got girlfriends. I got you know male friends. Right. I've always said that they both, to me, they kind of equal out. I've seen both sides of each equation being, you know, a, a lot of infidelity and things like that. But um, it does seem like the men trump the women. Women. No, it's the women. It's the women. You, you think you think the women cheat more? Yes, it's the women. You know, I, I honestly think that women cheat more, but they do, like they won't. Not that they cheat more, but I think when they cheat, you don't know because they're secretive about it. Yes. Exactly. So somebody could cheat on you right now, you would never know. You will never know. We'll and I'm just the it. same way. But I gotta have somebody to get cheated on. So let's try that again. But anyway, see, Vince, I'm surprised y'all don't see y'all don't know Vince. Vince is still quiet. This is weird. Did somebody die? Did somebody die? No. Go ahead, man. What you got to say? going to speak. Repeat the question. I'm, I was saying that um, men on average sleep around with uh, women three times as more. Yes, that is absolutely true. Thank you, so guys. Masculine, I knew I was going to get him to get up. and ego depends on I didn't ask for that. how many women you get. I didn't ask for the analyzation. Okay, I say it's women. You think Mark says women? See, he back in the day, pimp. Okay. Say, say, <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? Men, we have this, and women, they have that. So with this, you the can diagram. get more of this. Kill the diagram. This okay. can't get more of that. Y'all get it? All right. Okay, so the next, <laughs> next statistically speaking, uh, women online, statistically speaking, women online lie about their weight and physical build and their age, and men lie about their age, weight, and their income. Now, is that true or is that false? Men, is that true? Women, right, is that, is that true or false? Because, I mean, I've somebody lied about their income to me before. Just, I mean, I mean, when I say that, they lied about where they work. That's what they were. They lied about where they work. So I was like, you know okay. What? I agree with everything. You agree with everything. Yeah. That's, not, that's not a fair, you got to be more, you know. I'm, I, what, I need to elaborate on that? A little bit, yeah. yeah. Before you just say, I, I agree with everything. Well, that's 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 true because of it's out of theory about mm-hmm. men and women. Oh, here men, we go. Been standing in the wilderness. Men so. is always Take about off. status and uh, you know, how much money we pre- how much money we have. Our uh, macho mach- machismo. Macho that, machismo. That, that, that's 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 what it's all about with men. It's about our image. It's about our ego. How we project off. Women is all about the looks. Okay, if a woman doesn't feel like she looks good enough. Is that true, ladies? She's pretty much useless to society. Oh, for men, we don't feel like we that's how y'all feel, enough, girls. We don't feel like we have enough money, money, or in the right situation. Mm. We're useless to society. Mm. I can I can see the difference. You know I what? I agree with Insanity Williams. Of course, of course you would. But you know what? I'm gonna get into this last one. Then we're gonna get into our. Exclusive phone interview with Aaliyah Stewart. But anyway, this last one is, um, if you wait till you're 23, that your breakup chances will drop to, I mean, to 30%. To be in a relationship. If you wait till 23 years old to have a relationship, your breakup chances will be 30% less. Now, I'm praying that that's true since I've never been in a relationship. Boom. Drops, Mike. I really pray. Well, it's true because 
I guess a 23, you're a little more mature. Right, I'm like, you're a little bit more mature, you're wiser. Right, I'm like, you're wiser, you're more mature. So next year, if I'm not in a relationship, I'm just probably going to jump off a cliff. But I will also know that my chances of being broken up with is pretty good. So. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't need a relationship to define who you are. Some you don't, but it's like to it's nice to have one. Some though. people do that though. Yeah, like, some people do that. They they think they living to like they live to have a relationship when you should live for yourself. Right. You know, don't desserts define that. me for the most part. I say think about money. Food, you know. Food doesn't have an end. That's right. what I that's what I stick with. It should be most all about part. money. Make that money. Think about money. Don't worry yeah, about no relationship. Money, money. Money. But that's all right. I hope you guys are tuning in and liking what we're seeing so far because up next we have Aaliyah Stewart coming up with her exclusive interview. You guys are stay tuned with WendyCityUnderground.com, your music, your station. Hey, uh, Eric Lee, Chanelica, hey. Um, no comments here. Y'all still ain't commenting. Tap said hey. But Ashley said hey. Proud of you, boo. Thank you. She's getting a lot of tuning in and stuff like that. So I just, hey, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, though. Hello. My name is Emma, and I think Kurt, my stupid fairy godmother, made me I heard that one before. Really? I thought I made it up. No, no, no. I heard about the, uh, about the, the, the women in there. So I'm putting this on pause so I can give Aaliyah the number to give her, so she can give us a call. I don't know if you can see me. I hope my neck don't look bad. From this angle. My. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoying the show. Y'all ain't saying much, so I don't know. But let me know if y'all enjoying the show. Sorry, I had to answer that, but I'm back now. Y'all. Okay, so my call's gonna be giving a call. She's gonna be calling in a minute, so let me have her call here. Yes, the phone. Start right. Oh, here we go. That's her right there. Yes. Do I answer this first right now? Went to the underground.com. You know that the ice cream scoop can make a Hey, it's Leo. Okay, okay, okay. So I just start to write. I think we hit star two. And then. Star on that. Right, star two. Hold on, give me one second. Wait, do I got to Press star two, right? I'm just going to call here. Gotcha. Can I hang up this right? So you press star two and you get the transfer to that. Right. Hey, Leah, you there? I've gone through all the things. Do you think? All right, everyone, let's hear it from West Side on Jets. Talk, talk. I forgot. Let me turn it down for her. Because she's there. Hey, Leah, you there? Leah. I hear her. I hear her. Okay. I ask her now. Hey, Leah, you there? Hello, can you hear me, hon? Okay, cool, 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 cool. We got Leah on the phone now, y'all. All right, so, so turn that back up. Turn it back up. Is it too loud for you? Yeah, she said it's a little too loud. She can't hear how about that? Is that better? Can we turn up on the monitor for them to be able to hear it? For the viewers? Okay, cool. We got you on. How you doing today, love? Girl, you know, I, I love you. You be saying I'm blessed and everything. I'm just like, girl, give me inspiration. I just love it. Instrumentals. <laughs> That's what I'm getting to. We're going to get right into the show. Are you ready, hun? WendyCityUnderground.com, your music, your station. This is your Brandon Maurice W. And I am here with my famous, famous Aaliyah Stewart. How are you doing today, hon? 
Girl, first of all, okay. thank you. I just want to first of all say thank you so much for joining me and just letting me interview you. And I know it's been a long time coming because I've been putting it on, putting it off, and it's just been a lot of confusion. But I want to say thank you for sticking with me to have this interview. Out from your standpoint of view and everything like that, so they can. Who